In these problems, we are factoring perfect square trinomials where the leading coefficients are greater than one. And you know, the the probably the the trickiest part about this is just recognizing a perfect square trinomial when one comes up. What you should be looking for is something that you can easily take the square root of in the first term and something you can easily take the square root of in the last term. If you've got that, in this case, this the square root of this would be 3v and the square root of this would be 5. If you've got that, the next thing to do is to check the middle term. If you multiply these two together, so multiply those together, and multiply them by 2, they should equal that. So here, 3v times 5 is 15 times 2. That equals 30v. Uh -huh. So that is the pattern. The square root of this term, the square root of this term, multiplied together and then multiplied by 2 is the middle term. That's a perfect square trinomial. When you've got that, it's pretty easy to factor it. All you have to do if it's got a positive sign here is simply take that first square, first term, the square root of the first term, plus the square root of the second term, and square it. If you've got a minus sign like this one down here, it's just a minus sign in the middle. But the same pattern holds. So if you can take the square root of this and the square root of this, and we can, that's pretty easy. So this would be 2w, and this would be 7. And well, actually, this could be 7 or negative 7, right? So if we multiply this by 2, we would get 28w. But in this case, if it was a negative 7, we'd get a negative 28w. So since there's a negative sign in the middle here, this is going to be followed this pattern right here. And we take the, the square root of the first part, 2w. We subtract the square root of the second part, 7, and we square it. Now, you could arrive at these same answers by factoring these in a traditional method that you might be used to. And if you're more comfortable doing that, that's fine. This is meant to be a shortcut. So if you see this pattern, you can apply this shortcut.